Hey YouTube, it's Snowman, also Weed Airsoft Geek. Um, coming with a new loadout video. Um, got some new kit. Well, I didn't actually buy it. It's on like long-term loan to me for the next bunch of months. So yeah, uh, it's the U.S. Army Rifleman's Kit. The new stuff that's being issued to troops going to Afghanistan. Um, it is in multicam. It's in the official title of the pattern now is OCP because they can't call it multicam for some random stupid reason. But whatever. Um, I have all of the kit. Um, some of it's in the ruck right there. Um, some of it's over there. I just didn't really feel like getting it over here and taking out all again. Um, anyway, so this is it. I have the ruck. I have a bunch of uniforms. I have camelbacks. I have pouches. I have body armor, I have everything that I know of. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna start with the uniforms, um, and we'll go from there. This is the massive, massive Army Combat shirt in OCP, multi-cam, it's pretty much the same exact thing as uh, the Army Combat shirt in ACU, except in multi-cam. Um, it's got the same patches, got the same arm patch, stuff like that same build and reinforcement and stuff like that. Okay, next we have the regular new ACUs. This is our ability to stop calling and associating ACU with ICUs. We can stop calling them that because it's in multicam now, yay. Um, they did update the uniforms because a bunch of troops are complaining about how crappy the old ones are. Um, so they updated them, reinforced them in some spots, and just made them better. One way they did that is, uh, with the trousers, they, uh, on the pockets, they removed the Velcro, went back to the old button, because all the troops were complaining about it being too loud and giving away, like, stuff, and not being subtle in the least, so, got the side pockets, rear pockets are buttons, um, that's, that was always a button. The only Velcro remaining is the leg pocket on the bottom um, for like little stuff not really um, they also I think they reinforced the crotch area so it will have less tearing I don't know if you're sure about that for the blouse uh, it's pretty much the same exact thing as an old combat blouse except for the fact that it's a multi-cam and there's really not that much new about it pockets are still all velcro and mandarin collar Stuff like that, yeah. Nothing really updated there. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, the cold weather gear. This is the cold weather trousers. Uh, ECWCS, Extreme Cold Weather Clothing System. Um, it's got the suspenders. Um, got the tag. Official Gen 3 ECWCS, official US Army HU, blah. Uh, it's cold weather, so... It is water resistant as far as I know. It's not waterproof. I don't think, well, nothing's waterproof, so can't really get away from that. It's got elastic bands on the bottom. It's got zip down uh, trouser sleeves. Um, got the little snap on the bottom to uh, hold it there. Um, once you go up, there's pockets on the sides. There's more pockets on the sides. There's pockets where pretty much there would be a pocket on the regular ACU trousers. It's also got suspenders for wearing so it doesn't like fall off. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to wear these over your regular ACUs, but nah, it's gonna get really hot. I wore these yesterday. Um, I cinched them up and they were pretty uh, hot actually. I mean I was inside, but yeah. So I'd only recommend wearing these in like cold weather. So here's the uh, top for that part. This is the ECWCS level 5 top I believe. No, it's a level 4 top. This is the level 4. It's got pockets here, here, velcro for rank, name, and branch there. Got zipper down front. Uh, looks like you got you can cinch up the bottom there. Um, got sleeve pockets. Yes, and they do have IR tabs, so you can go ahead and go for that. Got a little mandarin collar type thing. You can't, no, it's not really mandarin collar, but actually it is. Whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about, so ignore me. So this is the Army Combat Helmet 
uh, advanced combat helmet, ACH. Um, it's pretty. Much, it's the same exact thing as the old one. All this is is a helmet with a new cover. Um, it's the new helmet cover. It's got IR tab on top, on side, on the rear, and on the other side, and a little pocket for strobe. So that's pretty much all that's new. And uh, the Cry Precision Nate pad in multicam instead of ACU. The straps and the pads are all the same, and yeah, nothing really new there. Okay, so let's get over here to the Camelback type thing. This is a uh, Hydromax brand thing. It's made by BAE Systems Specialty Group. Um, it's a Camelback with three liters. Uh, it comes with Grimlocks to attach to the sides, looks like. It comes with regular straps and facing one right like that. It comes with a bladder, obviously. It would be pretty pointless if it didn't have a bladder. So, yeah, nothing really special about that except the little U.S. thing right there. It's like pretty worn down. And it comes with three rows on the mo of Molly on the bottom. Okay, next, let's go to the rucksack. This is the new and updated rucksack. Uh, yeah, it's new and updated. Uh, it's not as... It doesn't hold as much. Um, I know that the old rucksacks pretty much suck because every time, you, like, somebody did jump on them, you had to worry about, like, stuff falling off and... Yada yada yada. Um, it holds less stuff, but there's more pockets on it, so you can actually hold the same amount of stuff, I think. In it, I have a bunch of pouches for the uh, combat, like for the vest, bandoliers, shingles, mag pouches, utility pouches, canteen pouches, pretty much everything else that you need for like the gears in there. Got the side pockets, and yeah, that's it for that. Okay, so the assault pack. Uh, it's a standard assault pack. Looks like they sort of updated it. I don't really... I, I'm not going to compare it to my old one. Yeah, actually it looks pretty much exactly like the old assault pack. Um, yeah. Okay, so now let's move on to the favorite bit. Body armor. This is the Point Blank IOTV. Uh, it's an IOTV, so it is an IOTV. It's pretty meh. The vest itself, the armor, carrier... It's not the greatest thing. It's like they took an IOTV, changed it around, and slapped a new name on it and called it improved. It's not really incredibly that special. Um, now, what comes with it, on the other hand, is pretty special. This is the uh, tactical assault panel. Um, it's got plenty of molly, and it actually isn't... You can make it into a chest rig. I just attached it to this via that and that and there's you can uh, weave clips on the side into the molly and you can actually yeah you can remove it like that so let's remove it kick the IOTV out of the way because it doesn't really matter anyway for the IOTV that's the daps and that's the yoke guard I just took them off because they're so uncomfortable and so pointless for airsoft I guess okay so this is the tap on it right now I don't have really that much stuff. I have a canteen pouch with a canteen in it. I have uh, two frag pouches and I have a flashbang pouch and I have an IFAC, uh, individual first aid kit. Um, it's actually really nice. It's quick release so you can reattach it and attach it and like not worry about like destroying everything. It's got pockets here and here. Um, yeah, and it's got a pocket there too. So, oh hey, more stuff. Looks like that's the uh, chest rig bit that you can use to make it a chest rig. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and post the comments. Uh, go ahead and post suggestions for the reviews as to what you want to see. What else? I can probably do a more in-depth review if you guys want me to. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Rate, comment, subscribe, and recommend to friends because I like views and I like comments and I like you guys. So, that's it.